What's going on? Welcome back to Anatoys, the gold mine for collectors. I'm Tony Mac, and today I'm gonna be unboxing the Hot Toys 1 6 scale Spider Man upgraded suit, the Far From Home edition. So stay tuned. But before we get started, go ahead, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, click like, click subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will get the first dibs on what's new. So let's go ahead and check this box out. The question you guys are probably asking, is the new Hot Toy Spider-Man upgraded suit Far From Home Edition worth swinging into action for? So originally the Hot Toy Spider-Man upgraded suit was set to release in 2020 but was delayed to 2021 due to the pandemic. It was one of the most anticipated figures and it's now here at Anatoys. First, let's talk about the box. Guys, I love the design with the Mysterio on the sleeve and in the middle inside his helmet you get a portrait of Spider-Man in action. And when you lift up the sleeve, you of course get a beautiful graphic of Spider-Man fighting the drones. And I believe all the Spider-Man Far From Home figures so far have this same design, which I think is pretty great. Let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. So you guys get a lot of accessories with this one. You have a new Peter Parker head sculpt. Of course, it's the Tom Holland portrait. One Spider-Man mask, not wearable on the figure, but it has impeccable quality. Six strings of spider web in different shapes and lengths attachable to the web shooters. One spider web effect accessory. 11 pieces interchangeable hands of two web shooters, three web wings, six web effects. Peter Parker's smartphone. Also included are five pairs of spider eyes, one pair of glasses, a drone, a dynamic figure stand with a nice Spider-Man nameplate and a movie logo. The top has the classic colors of our hero, red and blue with his logo and the movie's title card. The stand includes a second part, which is more of a dynamic type stand, which attaches the drone. Speaking of the drone, it's not up to scale. It's a lot smaller. Although this one is to be used for the background, unlike the drone that was included with the homemade suit. Man, I gotta say, Hot Toys has outdone themselves again with these Spidey accessories. I tell you what, man, I love how they included all these different pairs of spider eyes including the closed eyes to recreate the Peter Tingle scene from the end of the movie. Come on, Peter Tingle. <sighs> you pretty much can recreate any scene from the movie with everything they have included. Like I always say with Hot Toys, it's all about the details. Now for the phone, they printed the conversation Spider-Man had with MJ at the end of the movie. It says, don't text and swing. So that attention to detail is impeccable. I just, I just really, really love it. So now let's move on to the head sculpt. Guys, this is movie accurate. This is truly well crafted. I mean, based on Tom Holland's appearance in the movie, this head sculpt is astounding. I mean, I love how the details they did with the hair, from the hair strands going down to the side. See that there? I mean, it also, let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see how it looks on the figure itself. Let me snap it on. There you go. Plus, it includes the Edith glasses, which makes all the difference. But again, you got to be careful when putting these on. They are made from hard plastic and could potentially damage the paint. So 
Let's go ahead and put this on. And what I like to do is sort of just stretch the glasses just a little bit so it doesn't touch the paint. And slap them on like that. And look at how beautiful that looks. Look at that. That is so nice. That is really, really nice. And just a reminder, a little tip for me, be careful on unboxing this and using the Edith glasses. I mean, I know a few people who have managed to scratch the paint on the lenses. So please, for you and your beautiful figure's sake, try not to touch the lenses. So let's go ahead and move these, some of these accessories to the side. Let's put that there. And about the figure itself, Hot Toys, guys, has done an amazing job at getting the different textures of the suit. I mean, the red parts are a sort of a rough type of fabric and the black parts are a smoother type of fabric. So unlike the Iron Spider figure, they covered the head with fabric. So it has that rough type of texture to it. Thus, of course, it blends more easily with the rest of the suit. So this figure has over 30 points of articulation, which of course will help you create numerous Spider-Man poses. However, of course, you want to be careful when handling it. Try not to display it in the same pose for too long. This type of fabric can be damaged. I recommend trying to display this figure in a neutral pose or maybe changing poses regularly. As for the web wings, they are pretty much easy to install. They attach with magnets. So let's go ahead and see how it looks like. It really depends on what scene you're trying to recreate, but I'm sure they, they just snap on just like so. Put his arms out a little bit. There you go. So you see the textures in the wings itself. There you go. So right about now, I'm gonna go ahead and put him in some poses to give you guys ideas at home on what you can do with your figures. This figure was pre-ordered, so even though it took a while to get here, guys, it was worth the wait. To be honest, this has got to be one of my favorite figures ever. I mean, he is so stunning in person and looks amazing on display. This Spider-Man in his newly developed upgraded suit will surely make a great addition to your favorite wall crawler display. Awesome quality and figure details. Guys, this is a must-have figure for all Spider-Man fans. If you guys are interested in picking this up, it's going to be available on our website. Please check us out at www.anatoys.com. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this figure, so please go ahead and leave me some comments down below. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, smash that like button, click subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you will get the first tips on what's new. Again, I'm Tony Mack. This is Anna Toys, the gold mine for collectors, and I'll see you at the next unboxing.